Hey, what's up, everybody? Today we're going to talk about the news of the day. We got a lot of news that came out late afternoon yesterday, and some breaking news here today as well. Right off the bat, the Cowboys added another quarterback here, Luke McCown. Uh, you need another arm here. This isn't necessarily going to be Kellen Moore's replacement, uh, but you know there will be a competition there. You know there could be competition there with him and, and Moore. They signed him to a one-year deal, brought him on. Uh, the Cowboys, they also uh, signed a uh, another receiver here, uh, Javante Herndon. What a complicated name this guy has, but the Cowboys signed this guy here. Uh, in doing this move, the Cowboys waived and released Jaha Thomas. Talked about him just the other day, man. If, if, you, if you don't get on the field, you're not an asset. Gone. He's gone, right? So the Cowboys... Looks like they're moving forward here with the running backs here. Um, pretty good stable of backs. Experienced veterans. We got Zeke. Um, Darren McFadden. Alfred Morris. And now we have Ronnie Hillman. That's a pretty good pretty good backs there. Um, as Linehan does like what uh, Ronnie Hillman brings to the table here. I think he has uh, more of a... I think his skill set is going to be better than what they have with Alfred Morris as far as... Uh, passing pass catching Alfred Morris just looks very awkward when he tries to catch the ball and uh, his his uh, pass blocking is still a little bit suspect but uh, Ronnie Hillman let's keep an eye on that guy there okay so this is serious a lot of a lot of moves cap mode you know the drill so we're in it Cowboys added Luke McCown talked about that uh, Ryan Switzer still dealing with the uh, with the hamstring so he's not going to be participating today. Jalen Smith, however, out there in the walkthroughs, he's out there. Um, they said he would be limited, but all indications are he's he's doing a lot. You know, he's definitely doing a lot of things here. Um, I'm sure they are limiting him here with uh, certain contact drills and th that sorts of thing. But he's definitely getting his feet wet here, getting it done. All right, clear eye view and full effect, kicking ass out there. Right, so. Keep bringing him along, and uh, we'll go from there. Take it day by day. Speaking of day by day, Malik, Cal uh, Malik Collins, he's still nursing a hip flexor injury. Those are painful. I had one myself. Those things, they're, uh, that could be a tricky thing as well. So we'll see. They're going to bring him on. He's day to day. Switzer's day to day as well. But um, that's it for that. The other thing that we want to talk about here, Dak Prescott. This is his birthday. And um, the, there's not going to be any kind of sophomore slump for this guy. This guy has taken everything serious from the jump, from the end of the season to the off season, refining his skills, refining his off, uh, refining his core strength, strength and conditioning, getting in the playbook. And uh, Scott Linehan talks about this. You know, he talked about how they're going to, you know, you know, they're going to add a little bit more here to, to the offense, a little bit more, but not too much more. Take a look at this clip here real quick. Uh, Scott Linehan talking about Prescott. More towards Dak now that you know him, he knows you guys, that you can add things that he likes. Or he does maybe better than a year ago. Yeah, a little more naturally, um, but that's every year's like that. You know, you're making adjustments and having innovations here and there. Um, Keep it to a minimum, though. You know, 90% of what we do is going to be what we do. That's our offense, and that's what Dak did for us last year. Is we would ask any quarterback that has to step in, but uh, did a great job of it. But, yeah, there's some things that, um, you know, we're doing now that maybe we didn't do as much uh, a year ago at this time, but that's natural. You know, you're going to play to your strengths, and uh, and that's what we try to do. All right, so that's pretty interesting there on, on Linehan talking about the offense and that sort of thing here. I think – Another thing that we're going to see here is Ezekiel Elliott more involved in the passing game. We're seeing him catching more passes here in training camp. Uh, he's a weapon out there. You get him out in the open field like that, in the secondary, underneath, in the flat or whatever, these guys, the the secondary players are not going to want to talk with this guy. You don't have a uh, Cam Chancellor on every single team who's going to go up there. So... This bodes very bad for the opposing defenses. Zeke in the open field, you're in trouble. All right, so I like that move there. I like that they're doing that. So that's very exciting here. 
Let's take a look at this clip here of Jason Garrett. He's talking about Prescott as well, how he's come along from year one to year two. Check this out. His intangible qualities are, are, are pretty rare. And uh, just the kind of person he is, the values that he has, uh, his work ethic, his commitment, uh, the sacrifices that he makes, uh, just his drive each and every day to be his best. He does a really good job focusing on what he needs to focus on. And, uh, and that's a really important thing for a football team. If, you're, if your quarterback can have that approach, everybody else follows. And in uh, 2017, there's a lot of distraction. There's a lot of clutter out there. And he does a really good job locking into what he needs to do. And it, it's contagious throughout our team. Impressive. Most impressive, right? That uh, rare intangibles, these sorts of things. You know, I, uh, I talked about this with Foots here. We talked about this, um, talking about how Dak Prescott comparing to uh, Tony Romo. We don't know if Tony Romo... Uh, especially towards the end of his career, was this dedicated to his craft. Not to say that he wasn't, but Dak Prescott, this early on, impressive. I mean, we have a good one here, guys. <laughs> we have a good one here. I can't wait to see year two Dak here. Uh, they're going to, you know, lend a hand. They're going to add some things here to the playbook. You know, they're sure these teams have film on Prescott, but that doesn't mean that, yeah, we have film. Now we know how to stop them. That's just not true. You cannot stop talent. You cannot, you cannot, uh, you just can't stop it. You know, he has it. He has a lot of it. Dedication, heart, and he makes all the sacrifices for the team. He's a team first guy. I love this uh, 2016 draft class. These guys the arrow is up all right the stock market the arrow is up on these guys ezekiel elliott he's uh he's gonna be a beast here in year two jalen smith obviously making big strides in the off season he is on the field now and doing football moves right uh using some instinct moving around and uh, doing those sorts of things malik collins this guy getting a lot of accolades from from his teammates tyron crawford these other guys, they notice what kind of guy this guy is. He's your three-tech starter all the way. Millie Collins, Charles Tapper, improving, looking very fast at that weight class, 270. He's going to be screaming off the edge here. He's looking good in camp. Prescott, we already talked about him. Anthony Brown, I want to talk about more of this guy. He is out there making plays. Another guy here, working off of last year's success. I just, um, it's going to be, I just don't envision him not being on the field, not being a starter. So, Anthony Brown, good job. Kevon Frazier, however, um, I think, I wouldn't say that the, uh, I wouldn't say that the, um, the arrow is up. I wouldn't say it's down. I would just say, let's, let's see how he progresses during camp. Right now, I'd say he's, he's, uh, even, you know, Darius Jackson, obviously, is not with the team anymore. Rico Gathers, uh, I have him slightly going up but with james Hanna and jeff swain back on the field here um uh, it's for me i don't think this is a lock for him i i had my reservations on hannah but we'll see if he can stay healthy but um with him back and if he stays healthy and jeff swain obviously he's coming back from his foot injury these two guys uh they're more natural tight ends and James Hanna is one of the better run blocking tight ends on the team so for Rico Gathers he's running out there uh, you know reports are uh, that he's he's making his progressions but still showing some stiffness in his routes and uh, his assignments so I don't I don't know if he's a lock this is one that he's gonna have to shine in the preseason all right I want to see what Rico Gathers does hopefully they'll give him some some snaps here and hopefully he keeps coming in along. But uh, the arrow overall for the 2016 draft class is going up. And the sky's the limit. Man, we have some potential stars from this draft class. So, well, that's it, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know um, if any of you guys watch UFC. Cormier versus John Jones. All right, who do you guys take? Who do you think is going to win that fight tonight? All right, but let me know what you guys think about our topics today. Um, Prescott and these guys so please like and subscribe 
and uh, we'll see you here Monday for the next video. Thanks, guys.